happy Friday. What a drama week. Drama after drama after drama, and there's one being brewed right now. I don't know what it is, but there's always one coming up. I have no idea what the phenomenon comes from. I guess it's just the internet. Why don't we distract ourselves with something that's, I don't know, what we're all actually here for, which is earphones. I've got a four balanced armature 2DD set right here called the Hype 4, and I've got a 2DD three balanced armature set right here called the Sinoco Trace, and uh, it's one BA difference. And it's $140 difference. So that one BA basically costs $140. Break it down, that's what it is. If you are a subscriber to my channel, comment below. Give the video a thumb up if you actually like it. And are also subscribed to my Unbox channel. The, I think it's this one or the other one that I didn't mention will be going out to some of the comments below. I have caught up to all of the, basically this weekend, the final people will be caught up to and I can start to move. That's why the, it, there's been a pause so that a bunch of people aren't waiting because this stuff takes time. Um, so there's that. Good luck to somebody that might want to win that because it's a, as you'll see, a very good set. Let's take a look at the frequency graph and keep in mind what I just said in the prior video. These are obviously very misleading or oftentimes very misleading. This is about as good as it gets because this is a single mic, mine, uh, measuring two different earphones and uploaded to my database. So whatever variations there are for the mic are applied to both of these measurements. When you start to compare other people's squigs, you got one layer down. And when you copy paste and line things up, you, you, you get far away from it having any value whatsoever. Having said that, looking at this, you would take away maybe that this seems like it's got more mid bass. And like I said in the prior video, that one set that looked like it had more bass actually doesn't to the ear. This set does actually sound like it's got what that graph is indicating, which is more mid bass. And that would play out with stuff like Big Boy Kill Jill, um, with four string bass guitars. It does not impact vocals like Chris Cornell, Charles Bradley, um, the girl that does the cover of Blondie, I swear out, Nina, Shanane, Shemaine, Shalane. Uh, I'll get it correct sometime, but hopefully I'll give her credit down below. If I don't, please remind me too. Um, she does a, a brilliant cover of Blondie's um, Heart of Glass. Really, really, really cool. Sands the kind of goofy dudes dancing in the crowd like they were plants. Th that's like distracting. She's beautiful and she sings really, really well. But she sounds great on this set, even though it's got the elevated low frequency. So the challenge here with these two sets is, can I pick out where that BA is not or where it is in that the mids sound better because it's got one extra BA? Let's, we're talking about frequency response graphs and how they can be grossly overstated. The, 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 the idea that driver count is a direct correlation to sound quality is something that is implied a lot, if not said clearly. It's definitely implied a lot. That's also completely BS. The Helios SE, which I'm not a fan of, is four BAs. But it's not because it's got four BAs. It's because of that mid-bass tuck. They did that on purpose. That was their goal. And I said yep, in the video about frequency graph, companies need to be able to create and do stuff and not be slammed because of the frequency graph. However, with that particular set, my only issue was that it lacked some energy with kick bass and forcing bass guitars and it, it did impact male vocals a little bit but that was tuning that was an intentional choice but four BAs being inside that set has nothing to do with anything related to sound quality it sounds like an excellent set and a lot of people like it so these sets having a single balanced armature different different between them can I pick it out do vocals does Chris Cornell sound slightly more engaging because of that one BA? No, I can't pick it up. How about cymbal strikes? Does it sound more maybe tizzy? Does it sound muted, like the drummer's reaching out and, and pinching on the cymbals to kill the sound intentionally, muting the cymbal? No, there's nothing going on with one set that's not going on with the other also except for events that are in the low frequency. The bass guitar snaps and pulls sound like they're overall more realistic to me on the Sinoco Trace than on the Hype 4. I would pick the Sinoco Trace over the Hype 4, but I think my library kind of would tip 
you to maybe guessing that, and you would go guess correctly. I don't see the benefit of the BA in this example. I can't pick it out clearly and use my library and say, uh, you know, in this instant, I can hear this. Come on.